Hello everyone, welcome back to Blow Par with myself, Joe Lavery. So, I'm here today at Ben Ridding Golf Club. Now, I've not played it before. You see Tom here in the background having some swings. We're going to have a match. So, I'm technically a pro, and Tom, you're off five? Five, correct. Five. So, Tom's off five. So, we're going to do a match over nine holes. We've both not played this course before. This is the first hole here, so it just moves off to the right-hand side. Trees in the way, stopping you going over the corner. So, as I said, we've not played it. Now, the view that I've got, I'm going to spin it around, excuse any wind noise you're going to get, is the back nine's kind of going up this channel here, up into, oh, it's not the back nine, some of the holes going up into the channel there. So it's extremely hilly. So first hole, 457, stroke index 11. And you can see the green is up there, just past that bunker. So you've got this sort of hole here, right up to the corner. So Tom's going to lead the way mainly because I'm not feeling quite as brave as he is. He's got the driver out. Have a good game. In fairness, didn't see much trouble from the putting green, so it should be all right. Just down the right side. If I'm correct, that's his ball just between, wherever my finger is here, these two trees there. So, play the tee shot, I'm here, a little bit too far down the left hand side, but actually, I mean, the slope up towards Tom there is quite, well, it's very significant. So, look at the views behind me there. Is that not just amazing? First hole in, views like that. Nine, nine to go. I'm gonna hit this knockdown five iron out the rough and see how we get on. Gonna hopefully miss this right if I'm gonna miss it anywhere. That might be all right. Let's have a look. So Tom's just down on the left-hand side. And when I pan this round, well, that worked out better than expected. So this actually isn't quite as easy probably as what it looks on camera because of this large slope there just before the pin so let's see what he does nice strike oh yeah not bad not bad that's a great effort two for the win Okay. Hole number two runs very close to this fence, up to a green, just saying, just see the red flag. So 161. Tom, what club we got? I've got a seven iron. Seven iron. Seven. Slightly into the wind. Let's see. Three quarters seven, I think. So I think it's going to be playing slightly into and slightly up the hill. I believe Tom's also got the seven iron. Got a greenkeeper over here, just watching what's going on. Yes, oh, it's come out into the bunker, I think. You're all right. Already noticing the hills and we're only on hole two. I don't think we've actually gone up anything steep yet. The next hole though looks steep. Ah, time to test the bunkers out. So Tom's just in there. I think this quite nicely here. Got very lucky off this slope and uh, probably 20 feet or so now for a putt. Yeah, it's all right that, Tom. It's all right, what's the sound like? It's quite deep here. It's really hard to read this because everything's falling that way and I don't think the green does go that way. You know, it's serious when he's looking from the side. Ah, oh, left it short again. It's right in the jaws as well. Kind Tom, need this for the half. Oof. So this is the third hole. It's 318 yards. And I don't know how well you can pick this up, but it's just straight up the hill. Uh, green 
up on that right hand side. Now, something I've just noticed is if you start walking right, it runs off into these bushes. And up the left, I don't know where it picks it up, but once you get past that sort of bit of fairway, it's immediately in the long rough. So I don't actually think you can push up as far as what you'd like. What do you reckon, Tom? Yeah, I think, I think that's the case. <laughs> just agree. I can't say actually I'm feeling that confident with this. I'm not in a bad shot with it, but it just it feels a really weird shape, doesn't it? Got the draw on the first. Just hit the same yeah, shot. True. I don't know how far off it's gonna go, that's the only thing. Oh, I'll take that every day of the week. That's a great ball flight. But yeah, up the hill. What's the actual yardage? About 135. And then into the wind up the hill. Into the wind up the hill. So I've cool. Got eight, eight yeah, I think so. Definitely miss this left as well. Definitely. Long left to me looks like it's all going to come back, whereas short right looks dead. Get it over the flag. Go hard. Go. Oh no. Oh, I didn't see it down. I'll see. Just up there. Yards up the hill. I think it's got to be playing at least 90 95. I've got a 50 out. Okay. I'm going to hit relatively smooth and just see if I can send it just up onto the flat. Perfect. Should be alright, shouldn't it? Hopefully, if I got the distance. Should be. Look at that, even replacing the divot. <laughs> it's a tough shot. Feet pressed right against that. It's got a really tough shot here, actually, to get it just over and onto the green. So you've got the 54 degree. That was the 54 there, yeah. Not fancying the bump and run. No. If you put right it that over the hill. If you put it that close, then it's all right. Perform for the win, Tom. Oh, it looks. Oh, yeah, that's fine. This view is just amazing. So next tee box there. Can't actually tell where it goes from here, but look at that. So. 254 yard par four. However, the issue at the moment is this. When you stand on this tee box, there's two sticks. So I don't quite know if you hit between them or left of it or right of it or what, but there is two sticks, which are obviously there and there. So I'm gonna guess we hit between them. It's 230 yards, but I mean, you cannot see anything here from the tee box. All right, good luck, Joe. Oh, thank you. So, um, Line-wise, I'm going to say it's probably on the middle black and white. But I'm, I'm sure I can see a tree just left. The V-shape in the trees. Uh, or slightly left of well, that. My concern is this, where that pole is, just left of it. I'm sure I can see a tree just left of the path. But I don't actually quite know where this is going. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking on that black and white marker, but it looks like it runs right, so I'm going to hit just left of it. I mean, it felt good. So it'll be interesting to see what that does, because that's just over by that second black and white pole down there. So who knows, it might be all right. We seem to have a fairway here, which looks amazing. Now I have a feeling this is why we have two poles. So we're about to find out our moment of truth. Oh, I'm still absolutely, absolutely none the wiser. I expect to see a green here. So that's the green there. 
Right. So this is like the top court. I'm so confused. So what's this bit? Is, is this fairway? What, a green or? Oh no, there's a ball. There's two down there. Oh, there we go. I might have established something. That fairway we were just looking down, which was down there, we think might have been the fourth tee. And the one we've teed off was, did you say the 13th or 14th? 13th. 13th. So then we've teed off the 13th. Now, I the only think I have about 50 yards or so to this green and you can't see a thing. Um, however, this is one of the coolest sculpted sort of fairways I've ever seen. There is literally fairway coming down, fairway going away, fairway coming down, fairway going up. It's just fairways everywhere. It's like Spaghetti Junction, this in Birmingham. But we have a feeling we've figured out what's happened. So next time we play around, we're going to get some more clips and I'll insert them in here. So we've realised we've gone wrong. So we should have, we've walked obviously along here because our balls are at the back and down here. So you'll notice there's a sign there. So we now are going to walk down here and we're going to have a hit of this tee shot, which is the actual fourth. So this will be added in after us hitting our supposed fourth tee shots last time. So here we go. So this is the actual fourth then. So we're teeing off from here, hitting over this. This now makes sense why there was the two pylons on the top that we're confused with. So it's over the left hand one. Now what we've learned from the other side of this is you want to leave it on the top. So you almost got to treat it like a green on that top island. So then you've got a shot into the hole. This is the area we're trying to land into, so this is top slope, because you see then you've got a shot into this green here. I mean, that's awesome. So if you can keep it on here, it's brilliant. Now, I have just rolled off. I'm just down the bottom of the hill, but it's cool now to sort of play it to know roughly where we're sort of going. Um, and obviously off that different tee as well. It just mixes the hole up slightly. Just run all the way to here to see the flag, and that's my bag, so it looks about 60 yards. Playing it, Jim. Perfect. So Tom's got a very undulating pup. He also apologises for the breathing noises over my video a second ago. Claims he's not very fit. Oh, oh, ah! Oh. What a pup! This for the win. Oh, so straight. Can have that one, Joe. This is now starting to make more sense. So, tee box is here, cow and calf up behind, and then it goes down the cross. Obviously, we were just hitting from the fairway here. It goes down into this green, down in the corner, just by those trees with the water. The next hole then is going to come up and over this hill and back into this corner here. So, we've got a bit of an idea where we're going now with the next couple. We were so confident in the fact we knew where we were. So that's hole 14. 14. This is hole 16 that says par 350 yards. Now these tee boxes seem to be pointing in this direction, but it doesn't look like it's to that green. That doesn't make sense. And these tee boxes here, you've got these two are pointing this way. Well, I'm wondering if they hit maybe down there. So maybe we've got to go up there. Cool. Push it down. Look at the signs. Seventh and fifth. Makes sense. Those tees go to that green. We found it. So hole five, 283. And it's just past them there. Tom's bag down there, just into that corner. Me and Tom were just saying, we're just approaching the green now. So Tom, we're thinking is somewhere over there in the shed and I'm hopefully somewhere just down here near this. But we're just sort of chatting about actually, when we're up there, you don't actually need a lot of club. Like here is perfect. And you could probably get here. Nearly been hit by a golf ball then. And you could probably get here. 
you could probably get here with some sort of iron. I don't know, it's the group behind. Uh, and you could probably get here with some sort of iron, I think. Now I'm nervous now in case I'm about to get hit by a golf ball. I've hit this miles too far. I now have the most awkward shot up to that green. Tom's looking for his, so I can't get a video of it, but that's awkward. Oh, it's good. Some of local wildlife. So I appear to have driven it straight over the green. Now I might have got very lucky here and hit this wall by the looks of it. Looking back up there, that's where Tom is with his three iron. So definitely not a driver on this hole because it is a uh, it's too much club. I've picked that up so late for Tom. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst cameraman ever. Sorry, Tom. Not a bad shot. Like, you know, it's in your eye line. Delicate. It was alright, wasn't it? Don't ask me to do it again. I'll take that. Oh, get meat left on that bone. For a birdie, then, Tom. Birdie number two. Beautiful. Come on, Tom, get your par, move on. Good man, well done. So we're currently then trying to get a line okay. down here. What tree, is there a tree? Yeah, okay, so it's this one here. This one is the line. Just left that chimney. case of walking down there and yeah, I have no idea. seeing what goes on. Nice strike, well done. So we've learnt we've gone wrong again. So we played the seventh from there, that's not, that is the 16th tee, seventh is actually up here. So we are now pounding up this hill for the back nine, but we're gonna play it as the front nine. So this makes a little bit more sense. So this is where we should have played this from, actually it's up here. I mean, look at the view, it's absolutely amazing. So I'll obviously put this in after we've played this hole, but this is obviously where we should have gone from. So we're just gonna play this as our back nine, so we'll just do it as in, it's in reverse, uh, which basically we have played these holes in reverse, haven't we? Maybe next time we'll play it all in order, Tom. We'll try. It's the moment of truth. Somebody's guesswork is a lot better than the others. I can only see one ball, which either means we've hit two of the best shots down here ever, where one's in the hole and one's next to it. Or... Does it look long? It's going for long. No. Long's not an option. Long is not an option, and I'm worried now that somebody here has gone long. Tom now has this for a birdie. All three feet of it. Go on, Tom, knock it in. Well done. So me and Tom were just chatting. We actually have no idea what the score is, so we're gonna have to put it up at the end. Don't know what the score is actually at this stage. It's completely thrown us off, nearly been hit by a golf ball. So this hole then, 191, definitely downhill. These look scary, didn't they, on the scorecard? That finish of, I can load it on here. The finish is like, there, you've got 185, 180, 199. It's a lovely par three distance. Lovely par three. So this one, though, a little bit harder. What's it playing? 183. 183, love the fact that you dive down there. Beautiful. Go on in, Tom, you're up. Good shot. Oh, massive, 
Massive. Oh, what a... I thought that was bouncing on the green then. I have absolutely no idea where that's ended up. This isn't easy again. Ah. Take that. Take that. Perfect. Ball hunting, ball hunting. There it is, Tom. About 20 yards past the ball. Ah, that's a big, big punch seven, that. Oh no, it's just stayed on the top. You've got a round of applause from the lovely people on top of the cow and calf up there. They can't believe what golf they're witnessing today. So Tom's got his putt now for a par. Now this isn't easy actually, this hole. It's 180 yards apparently. It definitely doesn't play it. I've hit nine iron. It's like 145, 150 club. Always round it. Sit, sit, sit. Oh Tom. Lack of H2O, that one. Oh my goodness. Wow. Solid par. Thank you. So this now seems like hard work. So, as you can see there, it says 208 yards, stroke index five, hole nine, and it's a par three and the green is somewhere up there. Now we did see this early on the right hand side, the first. It's sort of at the base of this tree here is where it is. So let's have a go. Okay. Purely. Five iron in hand. Yeah. It can't be behind that tree though, can it? You can't have a par three where you hit round the tree or in a tree. So I'm gonna aim just left of it and hope that's the green. Followed me. Oh, seen that come back. Yeah, it's okay. So, we didn't quite clock that there is a pond here. So now I have to hope we got very lucky. Yeah, very nice, well done. I thought you got it in then. That was okay, wasn't it? I'll go and knock it in. Uh, that's our nine holes done. Get your par. So this for a level par? This for a level par, yeah, don't put any pressure on it, please. A bit nervous over this length. Well, as a pro, you should be getting this. Thanks, Tom. He does. Lovely. 